Hi, and welcome back. If you've been watching the channel, you know I like interesting and unique modules. Today, we'll have a closer look at Marble Physics from ADAC System, a module that simulates the mechanics of a marble on a tray. It can generate organic LFO-like signals, and of course, all sorts of bouncy envelope shapes. But the many in and outputs make it suitable as a complex voltage generator. In all sorts of patches. If you like to support my videos or you want to get access to PDF sheets with hundreds of patch ideas I used in my videos, have a look at my Patreon. But now, let's dive right in. Let's have a look at the core concept of the module before I go over all the functions and features. Imagine a marble or any small perfect round object. Now, imagine that object on a flat square plane or tray with edges floating in 3D space. And imagine the plane can be tilted over two axes. If the plane is perfectly horizontal, the ball will just stay in place. But when you tilt the plane over one of two axes, the ball will start rolling. Once it reaches the end of the plane, it will bounce against the imaginary edge and slowly come to a halt. Now, imagine giving the ball a push. Without moving the plane, it will bounce and come back to a halt again. When you tilt the plane all the way to the other side, the ball will roll over there, bounce against the wall on the other side, and come to a halt again. Now imagine tilting the plane back, but this time the elasticity of the edge of the plane is set unrealistically high. In this case, the ball can come back at the speed it enters, and end up in an infinite motion like this. If you turn up the elasticity even higher, you can get this sort of thing. Now, before you think that's all fun in games, but how can I use an imaginary ball in my modular? Let me show you. The movements demonstrated are all very basic. Here is the one with the ball pushed and bouncing against a single wall in a loop. Now, let's visualize the location of the ball over one axis. When we draw that movement out over time, suddenly this shows a signal that is very useful in a modular. Similarly, the ball that bounces from one side to the other will create this signal over time. And the ball stuck in an infinite loop, this LFO-like shape. It can help to visualize what's going on inside the module when you want specific results. But of course the module can create a lot more crazy and wild signals as well. So let's have a look at the module. Here on top, you can find controls for the physical features of the ball and plane. You can manually tilt the X and Y axis, set the elasticity of the walls or edge of the plane, the speed of the simulation, and finally, there is a bump button, which gives the ball a push as long as it's pressed, with a strength that can be adjusted with this control. All of these can be set to respond to unipolar or bipolar signals with the switches here. This section has all the outputs of the module, so there's the location relative to the X and Y axis. These can be set to uni or bipolar output signals. There's an output for the velocity of the ball and the bounce output. This gives a gate when the ball hits a side of the plane. In the bottom section, you find CV inputs for all parameters. So that's the X and Y tilt of the plane, the elasticity of the walls, the speed of the simulation, the strength of the bump, and the gate input for the actual bump. Finally, there's a switch and gate input to lock the x-axis. This limits the movement of the ball over one line, and can lead to more predictable results, like the ones I showed in the intro animation. Let's start with a few basic patches, with a focus on single aspects of marbles. Here, marble physics is used as an envelope generator. A keyboard is tuning the oscillator, making a voice with a filter and VCA. The gate output of the keyboard is used to trigger the marble physics. 
the X axis is locked and the Y output is used to open the filter as well as the VCA. Remember that even though the input on marble physics is called trigger, it acts as a gate and keeps pushing the marble as long as the input is high, or in this case, a key is pressed. You can expand on this patch and make it more dynamic in lots of ways. For example, by sending the control voltage from the mod wheel to the elasticity as well as the speed. Here is a similar concept with a single voice. Only this time a semi-random clock is used to forward a sequencer tuning the voice and gating marble physics. The Y out is used again to open the filter and VCA. But this time the X axis isn't locked and the X output is used to modulate the filter resonance. The way the knobs are set can make drastic changes to the generated signals. From slow and mellow to fast and hectic. Here balance is set to a relaxed delay like effect. Here's the same patch again, but with a slow LFO modulating the elasticity to bring some dynamics in the bouncing delay like effect. As you've seen in the intro, Marble Physics can easily be used as an LFO or constant moving signal generator when the elasticity is turned up. Here is another simple voice with a wave folder between the steady oscillator and filter. The Y output is used to modulate the filter and the X output to modulate the wave folder. With high elasticity settings, this setup turns into two LFOs. The behavior of the LFOs is related but not similar. You can influence the behavior of each of the outputs with the tilt control. Balancing the elasticity between looping motion and the natural decay can create interesting results. The X lock is worth mentioning here as well. Here is a similar setup, only the X and Y outputs are reversed. So the X output is modulating the filter. Another square wave LFO is used to lock the X axis. In this case, the X output works similar to a track and hold. With no gate into the lock input, the ball can move freely over the X axis. As soon as the gate goes high, the ball locks in place. When the gate goes low again, there are no voltage jumps. The ball just starts rolling again. In the meantime, the movement and LFO-like signal from the Y output to the wave folder just keeps going at all times. Beside predictable LFOs, marble physics can easily create complex looping voltages and enter chaotic random voltage mode when you add some self-patching. Here the same oscillator, wave folder, filter voice is used. The X out is modulating the wave folder and the velocity the filter. For some added craziness, the Y out is patched to self-modulate the speed of the simulation. And the bounce output is used to self-trigger the module.
I think marble physics shines as a complex voltage source in more complex patches, balancing between calm and organic and unpredictable and chaotic. Here, an oscillator with wave shaper is sent through a low pass gate. The oscillator is sequenced, but the filter is opened with the bounce gate output. The result is unsynced melodic patterns. The velocity output, of course, related to the bounce, is modulating the wave shape. A second simple drone voice with oscillator and bandpass filter is used as well. The Y output of marbles is modulating that filter. Finally, an LFO is used to modulate the Y tilt. And the sample and hold signal is occasionally triggering the bump. It's hard to show this in short audio demos, but patches like this really keep creating organic subtle variations over a long period. Here's a little variation of that patch. A copy of the bounce output is used to clock the sequencer. Now they are no longer out of sync, but the sequencer isn't moving with a steady clock anymore. In addition, a slow looping envelope is used to modulate the elasticity, and the X output is modulating the resonance of the bandpass filter in the drone voice. patch, a voice is made with an oscillator, wave folder and two bandpass filters in series. The Y output is modulating the folder, the X output the first filter, and the velocity the second filter. For stereo effect, the voice is sent through a panner, and the copy of the Y output is used to modulate it. To get the marble moving, the slow looping envelopes are modulating the X and Y tilt, and again a sample and hold signal is occasionally triggering the bump. In most patches, the speed and elasticity settings are really nice to tweak. Enjoy having marbles drive an entire voice. Here the velocity is modulating the folder, and the X and Y output are modulating the low pass gate, one the frequency and the other the resonance. The voice is sequenced again and the bounce output through a clock divider is driving the sequencer. A copy of the bounce is used to trigger an envelope modulating the wave shape as well, creating plucky accents. Marbles is modulated with two simple LFOs to stay in motion. Here you see the same basic setup, with marbles modulating the folder and gate in a simple voice, as well as triggering an envelope modulating the wave shape, and two LFOs modulating marbles. This time there is no sequencer though, because the oscillator is played with a keyboard. The gate output of the keyboard is used to gate a slow attack hold release envelope, and the envelope is used to modulate the speed and elasticity of marbles. This creates fairly calm and steady tones when no key is pressed, 
and produces more chaotic motion when a key is held. The module really demands experimentation and I was getting the most pleasant results when I wasn't trying to control it too much. If you'd like to browse through my modular videos, have a look at any of these playlists. Also, smash that like, subscribe and bell button if you want to see more modular content from me. But that's it for now, thanks for watching and see you next time.